Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy, and in today's lesson we're doing the classic song Bye Bye Blackbird. Now Bye Bye Blackbird is a great tune to play, especially at jam sessions. One of my all-time favourite recordings of it is the Miles Davis quintet version on his Round Midnight album. And the overall atmosphere and vibe of the tune is amazing. That recording also features an amazing sax solo by John Coltrane as well. And there's another version of this, which is a video I found of Chet Baker playing this live. And his phrasing and lines in the solo are just amazing. I've left a link to both of those recordings down below in the description as well. So we're going to be doing this tune in three ways for beginners, intermediates and advanced level players. You can get a free PDF of the beginner version and the link to that is down below. For all of these versions we're doing them in concert F major which puts the alto sax into D major and the tenor sax into G major. For the beginner version we're just going to be going once through the melody and I've added in a couple of variations. Okay, so now for the intermediate version, we're going up a little bit in speed, and I've included a chorus of solo as well. If you're learning how to improvise, then you can have a look at the example solo and take some ideas from there and try to use some of those in your own solos. This tune has loads of both short and long 2-5-1s, especially in the overall key of concert F major. So this tune can be a great workout when you're practicing that key as well. Now if any of that sounds a bit like gobbledygook, but you're interested in learning how to improvise yourself so you can play your own solos on these kinds of tunes, then over at Online Sax Academy there's the Learn to Improvise course, which will step you through right from the very beginning. Okay, so here's the intermediate version. Okay, and finally for the advanced version, we're going up a little bit in speed again. We're doing three choruses this time of head, solo, head, and I've put in a lot more variations and decorations on the melody. 
As ever, listen really closely to how I'm playing these phrases as well. Don't try and take on too much at once, maybe just a line or two at a time. Try to sing along with it first before you play it, and you'll find that really helps influence your phrasing and articulation. Okay, so here's that advanced version. Okay, so don't forget to check out those two other recordings of the Miles Davis version and the Chet Baker version. And of course, don't forget to grab your free PDF at Online Sax Academy. And whilst you're there, have a look around the rest of the site to see everything else we have on offer as well. When you become a premium member, you'll have unlimited access to absolutely everything that's on the site. All right, that's it for this week. Have fun with this one, and I'll see you guys next week.